AOC snapping at left-wing activist and Teen Vogue, who painted her as a hypocrite. The lefties are angry that she hosted a high school recruitment event that had representatives from military service academies. AOC has fought to ban similar armed services recruiting tactics. So now the socialist is scrambling to reassure liberals that she hates Uncle Sam. Mm. Someone made, a, made up a rumor that I, me, was hosting a military recruitment fair for high schoolers. Does that sound like something I would do? I was really subject to a lot of really vile rhetoric and attacks all day to day um, because of a rumor. And I can't stress how much this is not just a right wing thing. It's an opportunity for all of us to pause and take a breath because it's not all what it looks like sometimes. It's true. But that kind of far left anti-military mentality could be behind the big drop in recruitment. Pentagon officials say they're facing the greatest recruiting challenge in almost half a century. So she was under fire, Dana for uh, allegedly help, like just having the military at a recruitment event, probably an employment event. She claims she didn't have it. But just the idea that that is offensive. She says it's vile. It's vile. And I'm pretty sure she supports what's going on in Ukraine, right? So they could have an army. Ukraine can have an army, but not the United States. Does she understand how Ukraine is fighting Russia? Right. Do you think they're just pixies from the woodlands coming down from <laughs> the sky? How about when she said, does that sound like me? It's like, Absolutely not. It does not sound like something you would do because you are outrageous. Remember when the left was mad at the Pentagon for spending money on recruitment efforts at NASCAR events? Yes. And they said that that was so outrageous and a total waste of money and how crazy that was. I was like, well, where do you think you actually recruit? You try to recruit everywhere. One of the big problems is they have problems with people that can't pass the fitness test. There's an obesity problem. The people that are actually have different options, but right now, because job market's pretty good, you can get out there. But you know, she also says she wants free college for everyone. Here's a great way you could actually pay for college. You can join the military. That's mm -hmm. a one, one way. You could also maybe find a great career there. And the other thing is you could get into something like exciting, like the Space Force, which is one of the hottest recruiting things the military has. Kill people from space, Dana? Yep. Oh, that is just Jewish terrible. Jewish space lasers. Yep. Yeah, let, 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 let the Chinese do that. We're, we're not going to take part in that. Right, you get know, your hands dirty. You know, Jessica, it's, I find it funny that it was Teen Vogue that yeah. was criticizing AOC. Teen Vogue has done more to hurt young people yeah. than the military ever could. <laughs> it is, why, why is this their MO? What happened to Teen Vogue? Shouldn't it be all about fashion and bulimia? <laughs> the face of publishing has changed. Um, and they became super political after that gaslighting article. Mm. Remember that came out like three, four years ago? Or I guess longer now when Trump was elected. Um, I was surprised to see that they were the ones going after her for this. Um, she's out of step with a lot of Democrats on this. I mean, we had the 2018 midterms was called the camo wave, where all of these Democrats who had served Dana's favorite, Abigail Spanberger, Lisa <laughs> Slotkin, Jason Crow, all came into office with Seth Moulton, um, who was elected in that. Um, we're a patriotic bunch. I think what she should have said was to explain why she might not want that and right. to talk about the term the poverty draft, which started in the 1980s, that military recruitment uh, folks show up mostly at low-income schools. Um, they go after poor kids, minority kids. I don't think that's true. It is. Well, statistically, it, it is true that, that they go to lower joined, incomes. I don't think the military is not out there well, actively they show, just recruiting like there was poor a, people. No, there was a study out of Connecticut from a few years ago looking at how often uh, there was junior ROTC recruitment going on at lower income schools versus the wealthier schools. And they showed up. But that makes sense because you can't afford to go to college. So they're saying to you, there's a chance for you to go to college. The but result I'll, doesn't necessarily mean intent. We'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> But that would have been a better way to explain this versus coming off right. as if you just hate the armed services. Judge, what do you think? Well, I think there are a lot of high-end people who believe that the military and, and high-value people, high-value dollar people, if you want to call them that, who see West Point and some of these military academies as a way to get into the upper echelon of government in this country. But, you know, aside from that, I, I just don't understand why she was jumping up and down when she was talking about, you know, why would they think that I would do this up and down? You know, she called for an end 
end to federal funding for military recruitment in 2020. I mean, you know, this is a woman who doesn't believe in police. She doesn't believe in the military. She doesn't believe in the rules. She doesn't believe in fossil fuels. So this is a woman who what she wants to do is she wants to fundamentally change America. She is part of this green energy, leftist, anarchy, socialist group. Nothing that she says impresses me and nothing that she says bothers me because anybody goes up and down in a message to everyone. I don't know. I, I, they may have a problem. I don't know. I, you know, I got to say, she's really good with filters. I think, she, I think she's really good at this stuff. She is. She's better at that than being a congressman. Exactly. <laughs> she spends more time doing that. Kaylee said last night on the show that she's real sensitive about her left-wing flank with the anti-war crowd. Remember, she got heckled a few times mm -hmm. by these Ukraine people that right. said, why are you funding this proxy war? So she's very sensitive. She's like, oh, no, no, no. I don't want to have anything to do with the military because they actually got to the left of her on something. She doesn't want anybody to work in her district. She doesn't want Amazon jobs. She doesn't want you to join the police force. She doesn't want you to yep. join the military. What other jobs are left? What, in what's AOC's a recruitment district? event? Yeah, I mean, what, what exactly? I guess maybe you could volunteer to work for AOC. Your social media campaign. Exactly. Does yeah. she understand the only reason <laughs> she's able to sit back and relax and spend a trillion dollars on windmills is because we have such a great power for military mm -hmm. where we don't have to spend, you know, we're, we're not all there fighting all these wars and defending our borders like that. We can we can spend on solar panels and all of our green dreams. It's mm -hmm. a luxury. It is a luxury. Can I say something that I thought was very cool? That there are hundreds of thousands of people who have earned American citizenship by serving. Absolutely. And that's a great thing to connect to what's going on with people who want to come to this yes. country. Yeah, well, let's Say, mandate it. Yeah, like well, for immigrants. I, it, Let's I think it makes it. a lot of we sense. We just did. Oh. Yeah, we did. Well, it. Yep. That's the, the, the five executive is, orders. We are yeah. the France. <laughs> yes. You didn't know there's a button right here. Well, yeah. That's the that button. Was, yeah, that's I the button. Was a piece of gum. <laughs> that wasn't why I said that, by the way. Uh, I know. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.